mabomu nilikuwa tu naona kwenye picha lakini nilienda kushuhudia mwenyewe jinsi mabomu yanavyoangamiza Landmines continue to threaten thousands of lives in more than 60 countries around the world. In 2021 alone, more than 5,500 people were killed or injured. But in Tanzania, an unlikely group of heroes is tackling this global problem. The African giant pouch rats. Now afanya tunawafundisha harufu ya bomu toka wakiwa wadogo. These rats have poor vision but their sharp sense of smell is saving lives. Wisdom Chip number 4363 Uzito 1830 Skola ana 1835 Skola 1835 Bwana Skola ana 1835 Bwana These giant rats are native to Africa and can live up to 10 years and are roughly the size of a house cat making them one of the largest rats in the world Mwanzo niliposikia habari za panya kidogo zilikuwa zinanishangaza kwa sababu nimetokea kwenye kijiji kidogo huko Mwanga Kilimanjaro kwa hiyo kulikuwa hawa viumbe walikuwa haribifu sana walikuwa wanakula mahindi But here at this Tanzanian NGO they are trained to detect landmines Ke ukweli kabla sijaanza kazi sikuwahi kufikiri kabisa kwenye maisha yangu mnyama kama huyu anaweza akaokoa maisha ya binadamu ambaye ni mkubwa kabisa kuliko yeye Their powerful sense of smell makes them far better at this job than dogs and humans. Teknolojia hii ya panya inarahisisha zaidi kazi. Ni rahisi utunzaji wake, lakini pia panya ni mwepesi, hawezi kusababisha milipuko yote hata kama kikutana na na, na bomu pale anapofanya kazi. eneo la ukubwa wa siku ya mita 400 panya ana uwezo wa kutafuta mabomu yaliyofikiwa ardhini kwa muda usiopungua dakika 20 kwa mfano metal detector itapelekea hii kazi kufikia hata siku 4 kuanzia umri wa wiki 4 wanaanza training ili aweze kuniamini trust ninapomkumbatia hivi na mpeti peti na mpa chakula lazima nimjengee urafiki During the year long boot camp they go through different stages of training. Kwa hiyo basi tunaanza socialization training. Na hii socialization ni kumzoesha mazingira ya kuishi na watu. Lakini baada ya socialization na habituation inafuata a stage nyingine ambayo tunaita clicker. Anafundishwa namna ya kuitambua hiyo sauti na ku associate sauti ya clicker na chakula. Baadaye anakuja sasa indication. Sasa kwenye indication anafundishwa kuonyesha kile ambacho tumemtaja tipanya aonyeshe. Kwa mfano kwenye mabomu anatakiwa atuonyeshe TNT. Once a rat successfully detects all targets, it's deployed to some of the most affected countries like Angola and Cambodia. Landmine contamination is especially widespread in Africa, where at least 20 countries remain affected. In 2015, the rats helped Mozambique become landmine free. Mwaka 2003 nilipata bahati ya kwenda kuwa mtanzania wa kwanza kwenda kuingia kwenye Aril Mine kwenye nchi ya Msumbiji ambapo panya wetu waliweza kugundua mabomu mengi yaliyotegwa ardhini na hii Aril Mine Mozambique's struggle for independence from Portugal and its 15-year civil war killed a million people and left behind 200,000 landmines. These rats helped free almost 6 million square meters of land in Mozambique. Ni kazi ambayo naipenda sana kwa sababu inaokoa maisha ya watu. Their work continues in Angola, one of the most contaminated countries in the world. 
more than 73 million square meters of land are impacted in Angola. That's around 10,000 football pitches. So far, the rats have ejected more than 160,000 landmines and other explosives in Africa and Southeast Asia. Beyond landmine detection, the rat's developed sense of smell is also proving to be effective in other areas. These giant rats are also helping lab workers detect tuberculosis in people. TB is a disease that damages lung tissue. In 2021, the disease killed 1.6 million people. We're training the rats to detect TB by smelling the sputum samples, you know, the liquid from your lungs. It takes 20 minutes to take 100 samples, but it takes a lab technician four days using conventional testing methods. If they're sniffing a sample that is TB positive, we train them to keep their nose in the hole above the sample for three seconds. Once the rat have said this sample is TB positive, we take it into our, our own lab and we confirm what the rat has found before notifying the clinics. They are being trained as part of a new program in the mock disaster zones to look for earthquake survivors. A rat will enter from the outside, obviously. They'll be wearing a little backpack that has, you know, a microphone, a speaker, a little camera on it. And when they find a survivor, we're training these rats to pull at a ball that's attached to their vest. When the rat pulls at the ball, it just beeps. Then we play a callback sound. So this callback sound will tell the rat, you have to go back to base. Once the rats undergo their intensive training, they'll move to Turkey and practice in a more complex environment. The team training these giant rats hopes the rats' mission continue to help and impact communities around the world. So far, two million people are now living in areas that have been cleared of landmines by the rats. And their presence in medical labs have helped identify more than 27,000 TB positive patients. When you're thinking of these big global issues, you don't naturally think of Tanzania or even Africa for that matter for solutions. This is a really innovative and low-tech solution that is coming out of Africa and going out into the world, which is usually the other way around.